Love's Lux and Guts by Moxie Welds. I'm your host, Metalsmith Moxie. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about welding, metalsmithing, tips and tricks, fun projects, and so much more. So let's get into it. All right, so today's episode is gonna be really quick, simple, and straightforward. We're talking about welding caps, the correct way to use them, what it's actually used for. Um, and this was a great demonstration um, just to kind of show that. So one of the main things is the bill of the cap. Um, we're gonna get into that um, proper, like the proper way to wear it so that you're actually using it for what it's meant for. Um, so yeah, the main part of the cap is, of course, the skull, um, like the skull bucket. And of course, it'll protect your hair and your scalp from getting burned when you're welding. That's, you know, one of the main ones. The other part is the bill. One of my biggest pet peeves is watching people, um, especially new welders, wear their welding caps with the bill in front, like an actual um, baseball cap or something because that serves no purpose unless you're trying to make some kind of style statement, which I don't think looks good at all. Um, but yeah, it serves no purpose and defeats even having one. Um, so the skull bucket's the main part, you know, very, it's one thing, your hair and your scalp protects that, but the bill, you actually want to make sure that the bill is moving around so it's exactly in the place that you need it for. If it's right in the back of your head, if you're welding and you get sparks that come up and over the bill, if it's straight down, let's see. If the bill is straight back, it can help the sparks to roll down and hopefully not into your shirt, but at least roll down um, so it's off of your neck. And then if your bill is straight back and kind of curved a little bit like that, um, it does catch sparks in, it does catch sparks in the like fold and will at least allow the sparks to cool off before they roll down so that when they finally do roll down, you're not getting hot, like, you know, molten metal sparks going down your shirt or down your neck. So that helps. Um, and you want to be mindful of how you're welding, which position you're welding in. If you're welding flat, I'll usually have um, the bill straight back and with the curve. I kind of like it with a little bend because it does help to catch the sparks in here and just cool them off before they do drop down because sometimes they do go down the back of my shirt and um, I feel that that helps a lot. But if you're doing something like overhead, whichever way you're welding, if you're welding this way, you want to make sure like whichever ear is facing up that that's where your bill's at and that that is going to be what's protected. So if you're welding like I was in the intro, welding this way, this ear is faced up. I want to make sure that that bill is over that ear. There's nothing worse than getting glowing red hot molten metal down your ear. And if you're lucky, you're welding steel and you can fish it out with a magnet. Otherwise, if you're doing stainless or aluminum, well, then you're gonna have to go to the doctor and spend the day in the doctor's office getting that fished out of you. So just make sure you're putting the bill of the cap wherever it wherever you need to and just be mindful because sometimes you know you might be welding this way but if you're welding something that's round you're changing position or whatever so just be mindful of where your bill's at if you're going the other way if this ear is facing up just keep that bill moving around um, to protect you in the best way possible so that is the proper way of using and wearing a welding cap so Hopefully you guys get out there, stay safe, and have fun. If you're interested in any of these welding caps, I'm sorry, there's no link for you guys. Um, these were custom made by my mama. Um, I don't like any of the welding caps that I've tried buying from big brand companies. They're all very uncomfortable in different ways. If you want a comfortable welding cap, um, with really cool designs and stuff, I highly suggest um, shopping on Etsy because most of those are custom. You can, you know, discuss whatever, you know, nuances that you want or don't want in a welding cap and discuss that 
um, with whoever's making them for you. So I would say definitely um, uh, shop on Etsy for your welding caps. You're gonna get the most comfortable and reversible welding caps out there. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this channel with others you think that would uh, benefit from this content. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description below. Um, other than that, you guys stay safe, be moxalicious, and um, go on Instagram and post all of your moxalicious moments, doing something super awesome, breaking your boundaries, getting out of your comfort zone, so that we can all be encouraged by each other with, with our moxalicious moments. Take care, guys. I'll see you guys the next first Monday of the month. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't just i don't know just model the hats i guess so mom made these for us very comfy and stylish man look at how great we look <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> okay let's be real